What's up everyone, my name is Cody Engel, and in this video we are going to talk about the partition collection function. So in our previous video we were talking about filters, and partitions are kind of a subset of, of a filter operation. So let's just go ahead and get started, kind of show you what it looks like. So with collections we will create a new Kotlin file, we will just call it partition, and then we'll create our main function, zoom in, and now what partition does is it is going to return a map of values for you. So you'll have, or sorry, not a map, it will return essentially a pair of values. So one value will be what matched the filter, and the other one will be what didn't match the filter. So you will still retain all of the values that you had, but they will now just be partitioned. They will be separated out or grouped together based on what matched the filter and what didn't match the filter. So what this ends up looking like is let's say we have uh, val fiction, nonfiction equals our library.books, and then we run the partition function, which will take a book, and it's expecting that this will return a Boolean similar to the filter function. And we can say books.genres, book.genres. And then from the previous video where we were talking about testing predicates, we're just going to use the all testing predicate for genre. And then we'll just say genre is nonfiction. So this testing predicate is true only when all of the genres are of type nonfiction. So they can be biography, all of those, but they have to have the type of nonfiction. So now that we have that, we can do print line and then just say nonfiction for one header. And then I'll just copy this real quick because we're going to have a second header that is going to be for the fiction books, and then we will just do fiction, nonfiction, and then first, and then for each item from the first one. So this, again, is just going to be a pair with a list of book, and then another list of book. So where the first one matches, the second one doesn't match the filter. And then we can do our print line, it. So we'll print out all of the books that um, matched for nonfiction. And then the other one will be second. So all of the ones that did not match. And then we can go ahead, we can run the partition code. And then we will see right now that we have nonfiction. So that's looking, looking like what we would hope for. And then fiction is also uh, working like how we would hope. So I'm not sure if the car alarm is showing up in uh, the recordings, but uh, yeah, that's been going off all day. I don't know why that person doesn't know how to, I don't know, don't know what's going on. Maybe there's a lot of car break-ins happening or something, but anyway, it's kind of annoying. All right, so that is going to be it for uh, the partition function, it's again, it's kind of like a filter, but it's when you want to retain all of the values that are being put through this filtering process where everything from the first value will be what matched the filter. And then everything on the second hand side, that's going to be whatever didn't match. And so partitions can be useful if you want to do some more complex things where you want to, you know, have know what matched and then what didn't match but then maybe within this stream of events you wanted to do something else with it you wanted to you know do some other operation so I don't use the partition operator too much in my day-to-day -day, but it is useful to know about and um, yeah that is it for this if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to watch more videos like this be sure to subscribe and otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.